that Harmon had enough movements that if he wants to be in the room, he could be in the room. Well, the problem is so. that the bear was physically on the other side of the door, so I couldn't get all the way in. All I could do was be standing in the doorway. So if he goes to slam the door, I'm standing there. Sounds like opposed uh, body, um, body checks. Body, body. Where's my body and the strength? I guess. Yeah. Well, yeah, strength is not really a a skill though, but you would definitely get to include strength on it. Um, maybe just body die and then use your strength. Yeah. Trying to see like endurance. Not really. In... Brawling. I think brawling. It would be body and brawling, and you can use uh what your D twelve for strength if you'd like. Okay. Uh, oh, of course you give the guys who are brawling fighters the brawling option. This is why I want to fall back to, can I counter the door? I'm pretty sure that gets him 1d8, so. Um, I just, can you count, like, what you, would that be? Would you cut the door in half? Yes. Okay, well. It's an inanimate object. You can attack an inanimate object. He's attacking me <clears throat> with an inanimate object. Okay. Sure. If that's how you'd rather do it, then we could do it that way. And I like the visual of cutting a door in half. So let's right. do that. I suppose here's the slamming of the door in his face check. That is their strength, their body, and of course, their brawling. Yeah, claim tact. <laughs> uh, oh, doesn't matter. Three damage to the door. All right. The door is cleft in twain. Oh, no. Well, this guy guarded and closed the door. This guy is directly adjacent, uh, I think. Yeah, he could just go ahead and just slap you right now. So the cattle's gonna go, alright, time to teach you a lesson. Cracks his knuckles, aims. So, uh, let's go over to cattle. Uh, hey, how are you responding? Are you going to counter? Yeah, I'm gonna counter. I mean, it's entirely possible he's afraid me again. This is not a great position. Alright. So he has his tactics bonus. You're still confused, aren't you? Uh, yeah, so it's a bonus D8 you have. Bonus D8. Here we go. And to clarify, the cattle is using his horns because he's just going to go ahead and... Sorry, can I interrupt? Time out for a second? Sure. Um, and Theta for Harmon, can I get a speed in mind versus three? This would have happened at the end during end of round maintenance. Ah. Just to get rid of your confusion. Oh, this, yeah, this is to see if it goes away. If it's versus three, then I'm going to roll two die. Oh, versus. Oh, never mind. Sorry. Yeah, it's versus yeah. three. It says score two successes. No, that didn't happen then. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Still confused. Um, All right. And it'll go away uh, if rallied. Unfortunately, the only person who could in the room right now has a busted. Oh, this guy's no longer afraid because you left. <laughs> Right, but he is hurt still, so which makes fine. that uh, five damage. He's gonna be, he's gonna be afraid again. Well, hopefully he'll be we'll dead. We'll just get back to that in a second. Five damage, though. Ouch. So, uh, he's gonna roll forty-eight. He's tapping his toughness finally. He soaks three of it, bringing it down to two. He is reeling, hurt, and he's back to being afraid. He's uh, back. And the heart. heart. There you go. Yep, heart symbol. Bam. Okay. There. All right, Harmon's back. Uh, all right. Oh. So these guys were going to continue moving outside, but then everyone just came back inside. So they're going to go ahead and just start kind of maneuvering down here. So I'm just going to roll like 48s. All right, this guy. Bashes himself over here. I also appreciate, by the way, the fact that I went to the left of the building and circled around that way, and Anushka ran away to the right of the outside and was left that way. I wouldn't have been able to see her. So uh, this guy doesn't need this, so right. he just gets here and guards. Literally the same. This guy turn. is like, ah. Eh. Yeah, you're like following each other around the building. And On opposite this guy ends, can, like, the problem. Back up to here. So there we go. Everyone has moved up to the door. This guy's just keeping a hold on Connor, and these guys just arrived. So turn over for my NPCs. Yours just walked in as well, so I believe they are also done. 
Yep, yep. My guys just came inside and saw what's going on. Um, Amelia is very pleased that Connor is still here and that the rope is coming. <laughs> Guy, guy's coming back with the rope. I put him on a five counter. It's it's just whatever right now. Oh, I assume that's what the red line was. Oh, that's you... just him holding on to him. Ah. How do you? How did you do that counter thing? You oh, just... uh, when you ho hover over a token, you can press a number. Are you serious? Well, not the token, but one of like you're learning so much today. Yeah, like you can hover over one of the symbols or a dot and give it a number by just typing. Oh, sure. I've done that. How do you make that appear on the token? Yeah, what we just said. But you put the status yeah, when effect. When you press the number, it adds the icon with the number at the same time. Yeah, to so just mouse over it and then put a number instead of clicking it. Mouse over and put a number. Yeah, when uh, you're on the... It doesn't matter. We don't have to figure this out now. I'm not yeah. taking it, but... doesn't right. matter for this system. Is that, yeah. is that the it's end cool, of uh, Bad Guys? I think so. Yeah, Bad Guys are done. They've, they're they startled. Yeah, so I recover from reeling. Uh, and then I... God. Lay waste. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to attack. I was going to guard, but... Oh, for some reason my hurt went away. So where's my hurt? Yeah, I noticed that. The bear in front of you is just like, dude, we just bought that door. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, just painted that thing this morning. Yeah, I'm going to attack the cattle that uh, I just hit. Uh, Okay. He can only dodge now. He's not like you guys. Yeah, I think I got rid of my hurt because I, I'm still... I, it's ingrained in my head that orange is really... Right. Sorry. <laughs> Well, it's not your right, fault. You weren't, your extra... you weren't playing back then when I had it ingrained in my head. All right, you got your extra D8. Uh, Rerolling the body. He rolls double ones. Oh, he botches his fuck. own defense. Uh, I can guarantee he's dead. Oh, yeah. How much damage is this, Armin? Uh, seven, because you're not injured. He might reduce this to overkill. It is... It is merely overkill. Oh, What's the difference? Overkill. What's the distance on overkill? Four Near. paces. That would be the entire front crowd. The problem yeah. is, is that you have a rallier in the back line, which means I can't let you. I mean, Mark Amal is afraid, but I'm continuing this scourge because you have a rallier. You need... uh, yeah, you need to. It's true. Oh yeah, he is in four. I thought it was five. There you go. So yeah, everyone who came to stop you just immediately goes. All right. <laughs> that right, I'm sweeping yeah. to the, I guess, the bear in front of me, who's okay. holding a gun right. that's empty. He does have brawling fighter. He can counter you. He's just merely afraid. Just remember, it's only a one-hander, not a uh, a two-hander attack. I don't think anyone is in is threatening you except him. So congratulations, he has no tactics die. He does get the D8, and he does have a D12 because he was guarding. Uh, and since this is a bear, he is going to be using his claws. There we go. Top 8. Oh, and beaten out by an incredible roll. So, 4 damage. Mm. Alright. This man has not tapped his toughness yet. He will. Uh, and he brings that down to only three. He's up to injured. And then I sweep to the grill behind him. Yep, so he is injured, hurt, reeling. Alright, Gorilla cannot counter you. He's not in range. He will have to dodge. However, he is guarding. You are confused as well. Max 8. 4 damage. 4 damage as well. This man has not tapped his toughness. He soaks it down to 2. Reeling, hurt, injured. I mean, reeling, hurt, afraid. You're already afraid, so just reeling and hurt. Bam. My this is what I was waiting for. Weep to the bear. <laughs> Alright, bear can only dodge. 4. Harmon definitely rolls higher than a four. 
That's uh, mm -hmm. six. Six mm -hmm. damage. All right. Well, uh, wait, wait, wait. Go ahead and tap wait, you forgot. Things. You forgot to die. Because he's guarding. Uh, oh, you're right. Let me go. I'm ahead sorry. And roll if you didn't see, first. yeah, I'm talking about this bear. So okay, it doesn't so, change anything. Yeah. yeah. All right, so it's still six, you said. Yeah. Uh, you're adding to the wrong token. Oh well, these guys have tapped their toughnesses, so oh, okay. I'm marking that right now. Uh, he soaks three points of six damage. You say? Yep. All right. So he is hurt, afraid, injured. Is the new mark. And I still have this other bear over here that's within my range. Yep, he is not guarding whatsoever right now, because he just slammed into the wall. Seven. Uh, four damage. He taps his toughness and brings it down to only three. So really He is reeling, afraid, afraid injured. injured. Oh, man. Yep, the front crowd all came out and immediately got bodied. Yeah, all right. one of them like cut in half. That's my turn. Yep. Uh, rise of bad oh. guys. Oh, okay. Well, so here's the bad news for us. Um, Amelia does not have troop leader, uh, so she cannot do a mass fear uh, cure. She can try to rally some of these guys, or well, one of these guys. Um, Two spellcasters at range, though. That is true. Uh, well, then, let's see. Let's see. I don't know. Does Rodolfo feel like helping them right now, considering? No, that's a fair point. In fact, he might make a break for it, so we're going to have to be a little bit clever about this. Um, I'm going to declare at least this bear is his bodyguard. He's focused. I like it. Don't okay. make a run for it. <clears throat> okay. Um, he's going to ready a spell and then guard, I guess. Guarded and readied, so he's not going to make a run for it just yet. Meanwhile, Amelia is going to approach with her retinue here. Uh, I'm going to make the move for us. Uh, yeah, they can all move five, so. Yeah, uh, let's bring him out here. All right. And then as for Amelia, she is going to try to rally. Best she could do is this guy with a D8. Everyone else is going to be a D12 penalty for rallying. Yep. Go ahead and give it a try. All right. We'll just do this with a, with a D8. So it's going to be uh, 2D8 and D10. Oh, three successes, but versus a D8. All right, fine. Okay, so this guy is, and because she's a white mage, no longer hurt and no longer afraid. Um, and she moved, so that's it for her. So, okay. thugs. All right, these thugs are going to go ahead and give a sprint real quick, uh, unless she is demanding that these people stay with her. No, no, no. Um, they can go. Okay. He gets here, you get seven, and then one, and you get three, you're kind of slow, you are also kind of slow. So there you go. They've done their two moves, this guy is just like standing with you, it's like, I'm, I'm kind of exhausted, ma'am. <laughs> Guards. <laughs> uh, guy's still getting some rope. Uh, this guy is going to go ahead and try hopping to the other side of the table. How much movement for the table? Um, table can be vaulted. We had the vault. We were looking at the vault moves earlier. Um, I believe as long as you move, what you move two paces. It's not a um, stunt so long as it's only one pace for one first one. Any additional ones becomes a stunt. Gotcha. Yep. So just to the other side of the table, and that would be it. Yeah, I think so. All right, he's going to move Connor off the table and in between the tables, and then guard. Oh, okay. He is moving the objective. Sorry, she's going to put him over here? Is that good? Yeah, that's good. All right. 
All right, uh, this guy is afraid. Ah, he runs five and then guards, which he already is. This guy runs five. Uh, uh, remember, they are also reeling, so they only get one action. Mm. Ah, good point. So I will remove guard on them. They are at least not reeling. Now you get to experience the horror of the room that you can't no. escape a line of sight from. <laughs> no! No! No, we spent so much time establishing it, now it works against me! <laughs> Vertical leaps! Vertical leaps! And this man wasn't guarding, he's just, he's just moving out of here. Everyone's, everyone's leaving. This guy is looking and going, I don't think this is a good idea, but he's gonna go ahead and advance, and he will guard on you. Don't forget your body die for this cattle. Uh, I'm just considering him dead for now. I can roll a body, though. Yeah, he's fine. Well, the problem is... is that Wait, you're... he's overkilled. He's, oh, he's not dead. Right, he's yeah. overkilled. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. He's, he's super, super dead. We can hold hold my... up. Let me make sure that I remember. My only the concern... The reason I was concerned about it is because you've got a white mage over here that can take care of dying. So, yeah, yeah, but actually... No. Ain't nobody caring overkill. But... There's no coming back from that. And I just rolled, like, the regulars are going to be carrying each other out of there, and Remy just had a was Yeah, they're out and no die. one's stopping them. Oh yeah, Remy's probably going to make it. Oh well, we almost killed somebody. Oh gosh, yeah, he's just going to be captured <laughs> later. Right. Or crawl out, we'll is see. Is that all the uh, the brutes? Uh, that is all of them. They have made their actions. They're advancing and positioning. Alright. I Back guard... I guard, and then I attack this gorilla in front of me. All right. Well, Mr. Gorilla is going to counter you. He's going to just be punching you. He doesn't care about capturing you. D12 and D8, because you are confused. And he gets a 12 for a simultaneous hit. Yep. So Congratulations. That is a two points of damage for you. And it's four points of damage on you. All right. Well, he hasn't had to soak yet. Uh, he narrows it down to three, and he has used his toughness now. He actually he must have had to soak before, but he decided not to tap toughness. I think so. I think he took a hit that he thought he could take. Yeah, because mm. he's injured. That's why. All right, let me soak mine. I'm good. I'm just reeling now. These toughnesses really haven't been helping that much. We're rolling a lot of ones and two. They have, in fact, kept them from dying. All right, oh, that's okay. That's my the turn. point, I guess. Because if they rolled two and got zero, that'd be even worse than rolling four and getting one. <laughs> okay. All right, so that man's not liking things right now. All right. Uh, rise of bad guys. Rise of bad, rise of bad guys. Rodolfo is going to try to blind the dude that's next. Okay. Uh, as discussed before, he's going to try to guard again, just so it doesn't happen. Yeah. And he actually has pretty good odds of not letting it happen to him. Oh, well, Rodolfo needs to get more than one success. Can he do it? Can he? Or isn't oh, that rolls his person enough to come in? Uh, that's true, too. I think last time we said they weren't countering. I could just punch him instead if that's allowable. I mean, it's going to be up to you. The reason we didn't do it last time is because Amelia doesn't want people uh, harming him, but also she's not looking at him right now. He's also he trying to make a break for it again in the same way. Yeah. Uh, he's getting punched in the face. Ooh, let, 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 okay. Allow me to change that up. He interrupts just to punch. Just to punch. Uh, he'll be rolling a, a D8. In However, I believe his resistance still stands, but at one fewer then. So if he fails to stop him, he's not resisting at all, and he botched his resistance. Well, you are at close, so one you success could just with the punch. 1D10 plus... Uh, there's no other bonuses. He just has this. A nine, simultaneous. All right. Well, nine and a seven. Uh, nine and a seven, yes, that's right. Well, but you got a nine. 
Oh, but it's oh oh it's number it's number isn't it? It's number, yeah. I think it's. Oh, no, but if you're countering way. with a punch, then it's just highest die. Yeah, it's just a combat roll. Oh, at that point. Okay. okay, all right. In that case, it would be simultaneous hit. Now, how does that work? Do I still get the effects of the blindness off because yeah. it's a hit? Yeah, now hey, you blind oh, him probably, and yeah. he. You blind him and he, and he stabs punches you. you. <laughs> you punch all him. Right. So congratulations, Rodolfo. That is a two points hit of damage. Remember, Rodolfo's okay. also injured. And he's... Yeah, he's also he's technically called, but yeah. Oh, so that's three, then. Yeah. Okay, three. Now, if he rolls a one, eight. if he botches... Oh, <laughs> I didn't see the seven coming. I was like, oh, he rolled a one, you've oh killed Rodolfo. No, okay. Um, so it was two total coming through? Uh, three, because you're already injured. Hurt, okay. As hurt and afraid... Um, and reeling. Oh, he was also guarding, though. Okay, whatever. I don't. We're well, just getting ignored. Guarding you weren't wall guarding. <laughs> yeah, I didn't roll his guard. For, it doesn't matter. But your I guess guarding doesn't apply to your attack. Makes sense, right? Okay. Okay. Cool. So, yeah, the bear swings wildly, lands a punch, knocks some of the wind out of Rodolfo, but he is still standing, and he's making it, making a break for the door, although he uh, doesn't have any action. He's, he's reeling now. <laughs> and he's, he's reeling as well. Um, uh, I know, I know. <laughs> all right, so yeah, so he's going to try to make a run for it. Um, uh, see if that works for him. <laughs> yeah, right, we'll see. I'm trying to see if Amelia can help. She can try to rally one of the guys, I guess. Um, and she will... All right, D8 penalty die. Here's two D8 and rally. Uh, that's and D8 penalty. Okay, but range, she can't reach this dude who's the closest one, so he is not rallied. She's going to take a few steps closer so that she has a better chance of rallying more people. She'll... Yeah, she's and... getting into range, basically. Yeah, and I think that's it for me. Let's see how the thugs are doing. All right. Thugs, uh, run away! Ah. So I'll just Play. do some quick run away. You're guarding now because you have the chance. You are running away. And you're guarding now. You are running away. And you're guarding now. And you're running away. You might even get to the back room and guard. All right, people in front of you. He recovers from reeling. Uh, he's not guarding anymore. He runs away. Mm -hmm. And he's running. All right. So, and then we have a bunch of other people. So these two guys are going to go ahead and first start by just advancing. The bear is going to try to sprint. He gets here. Uh, you are guarding. So this cattle is going to go ahead and just sprint an extra three to here. He's not going to charge and attack this turn until he can aim. So he's just kind of preparing. He's seen what's happened. Mm -hmm. All right, this guy. Oh, no, he needs to, like, do this for one. And then he continues running for another two. And then this guy in the back will also be doing the same eventually. He gets four. He gets one, and then he gets another six. So he's at 12. So yeah, he gets all the way up here. All right. Uh, okay. And to state what was happening back here, the gorilla has moved in, and on his second action, he chose just to stride as a second action. And he's just looking at Adolfo, crossing his arms, going, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Gorilla, however, is going to continue moving back. He's dragging Connor with him. Uh, Connor is the hostage. I miss me that somewhere drive was an actual attack, and I could have countered it. <laughs> but you're also not conscious. There's been a lot of mistakes. There's a lot of stuff that's been happening to Connor today. All right, is that Which all is... the thugs? Uh, that is all of them. Okay, but before you go, I want to add one thing. So yes. Amelia, her eyes have left the the um the body of the man of the the guy who you brutally brutally slaughtered she you can see that uh, a look of horror is marring her otherwise perfectly calm 
demeanor. Um, you think that if you can kill one more of these guys, she might be willing to negotiate the surrender. Too bad, that's not what I'm after. She's oh. looking at that body. I recover from reeling, oh and I run the distance. Everyone just hardens their head and goes, what? what? As many twists and turns as I like, and none of you guys souls have focus. I've recognized <laughs> the one linchpin in this entire operation. They're loyal to one boss. Oh, man. And they spent all their turns separating themselves from this one weak-ass bitch. That is... Wow. Wow. Okay. All right. Carmen's dripping blood from the mouth. Some of it's from when he got punched, some of it's when he got stabbed, and some of it's because he's biting his lip. It's a good thing Sprint lets you change your direction. (laughs) Oh, that was a run action. Yeah, the run. The run action lets you just Mm -hmm. duke around. Run, run. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So, yeah, that's my turn. All right. Uh, I should say, Connor... You're still not, you're still, like, conscious, right? You could still feasibly take actions if you wanted to. Yeah, so he could, like, uh, guard and then stand, basically. Okay. So unfortunately, the break for you is an attack. And this guy's right. not actually doing anything every turn to Connor. Connor has no recourse. Yeah. It's a Oof. very, it's a very shitty position. Yes. Okay. I'm actually lucky I had two actions I could have taken. Got it. I just wanted to make sure that you don't feel like we've just completely written you out here if there's anything that you wanted to do or wanted to attempt. But yeah, you are not in a great situation. Um, But it looks like the tables are turning. So, uh... (laughs) So, I'll ask Red, would you like to have your units go first or mine? This I, does also depend on what happens to Rodolfo, because if he goes first, he could start running. If I go first, I get to focus and say no. Yeah, I think um, Rodolfo is going to make a break for it. That was his whole gambit before. All right. Might not end well for him. And you he can go is ahead and just the grill off far. and just handle what they do off screen. <laughs> yeah, I think the two of them are going to exit uh, to the rear of the stage, and you're going to hear the sounds of struggle outside. And we'll resolve that at a later date. Um, but yeah, let's focus on what's happening in here. because. It's, it's... Um, right. So is she going to go first or all of her minions? Yeah, I think Amelia's first move is startled as she's Armin basically charging her. And she's going to uh, she's going to take a dash back and guard. She does have the rod, which gives her some sort of defense, but. Yeah, I think she's going to yelp. She's going to... Uh, Parry is good. Yeah. Surrender now so or I'll kill you. Three, four, four paces gets her out here. And guarding. Okay. Uh, I think the first and most important action here is this guy is not guarding anymore. He is taking a focus turn. He is looking at Harmon and going, Don't you lay a single finger on her, or whatever happens to her is going to happen to your friend. I will return what you've done to my friend tenfold upon her. Drop your weapon or he gets it. I'm not negotiating with a peon. He's he's focused. He's not negotiating either. He's yeah, laid down he's his ultimatum. Don't trading. you touch her. I'm still yeah. confused. You can't negotiate with me. Well, That's her fault. Like, Please attack Connor. Please attack Connor. Please attack Connor. <laughs> Do, do, do. I'm just going to say these guys are going to run in this direction now and they are probably out the door, I believe. So they're going to be hiding outside and recovering from being scared. Gotcha. You're just going to leave them there for now. We know yeah. they're outside. That's fine. This guy is going to join this guy in the back room. This guy is also going to do the same. Th- don't go near Harmon. <laughs> so back room shenanigans are happening. That leaves oh, these three, four guys who actually have something to do, and this bear. Uh, he is going to get to here. Uh, his blindness to Rodolfo no longer matters. However... Well, no, he's blind in general, I think. Uh, let me just double-check the blind. Yeah, oh. this is different from the other status, which is that weird, like, mass blind against one target. I think he's just blind-blind. Okay, and... if he is blind-blind, then he may not be able to do much. Yeah. Cannot dash. All attackers have total. Consent. 
Yeah, he can't move. He can, yeah, he can feel his way around. He'll just focus in the back here because he's just holding his hands, going, "I'm blind." He doesn't even see Harmon has approached. He could take the recover action to try to get unblind if he wants. That would be Mm -hmm. body speed and mind verse two, but he needs three successes. Okay. Uh, This guy can he position himself properly? He sure can. He can get up to here, and he is going to charge Harmon. I don't know what you guys saw when that guy just moved, but it said to me, Infinity M. <laughs> what? <laughs> Damn. All right, this guy is uh, he broke moving. Oh, well, that's what I'm saying. It's like, what, did he roll for movement? And he moved him, and it said, Infinity M. I'm like, <laughs> nobody is called Infinity M. He's, in, he's charging up his fist with an infinite amount of power. He's also, um, he does have to technically dash, uh, roll this first, but he does uh, get in. With three. Uh, so, Harmon, counter him. He is charging you with horns. Nine All right, does not so be twelve. You take three damage. Alright, three damage. Uh, this guy is actually fresh. Uh, he soaks one of it down to two, so he is reeling, hurt, and afraid. Doot, doot, and doot. There you go. So he's tried his best to stop you. Uh, this guy probably just needs to kind of sprint in the way of everyone. What about so. his, uh, did you use his toughness to get that 48 soak? That's why I rolled. You didn't put it on so the token. So you should give him the heart. Uh, yes. Do mm. you're right. So I mentioned that guy's reeling, right? Or did he... Yeah, he's he's sprinting, so he's reeling, but he's getting in the way. This you is mean, the best he can do. You mean running? Running. It's okay. We know. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For the audience, I'll get. I will get it right eventually. I swear. Um, these two might actually pull off the same maneuver because they have to make a lot of ground here, and it's just not possible otherwise. So yeah, they are going to get, say, around to here. They are actually going to try and forming a barricade. Human pyramid. Yeah. Yes, this guy like about here. There you go. They are screening. Oh, I love it. That's what you think. And of course, they are also reeling, reeling. so they yep. spent all their time... Oh, oh, that guy's double reeling. We just double reels. Oh, no! Wow. You do it. I'm sorry. I'm trying to Oh, help. I think we can roll 20 crash because of the power of the double reel. <laughs> Was that all the, uh, the thugs, though? Uh, they have all now moved. Alright. Okay, so um... I recover from reeling. Armin. This cattle behind me, I'm attacking him. Okay. okay. He's he's drilling, he can only dodge now. Hey, he's got an eight. I'm sure that'll help him out. Nope. It it sure doesn't. Uh one, two, three, four, six damage. You've already tapped uh toughness. Okay. Oh, where's the extra six coming from? Uh, he is hurt. I'm oh, sorry. He's yeah. five damage. Five damage. Wait. Yeah. He's five. Hurt five. Yeah. Okay. So he reduces it down to three. He's now injured. All right. Sucks for him. Give yourselves up. He's still alive. Yep. That's me. I'm He's done. Powering through. Jesus. Okay. Well, the thing is, um, now that I'm juggling their afraid statuses. All right, uh, Amelia is gonna uh, kind of stick close to where she's at now. She's gonna say, "Um, stop! What's wrong with you? We could, you, we have a hostage. Do you care not for your friend's life? You can tell she is losing her grip on the situation. Um, she will uh call out and say, um, he's he's bleeding. You can finish him to the cattle and try to rally. Uh." Ooh, uh, I like go. the combo. I do like the combo of "Hey, be reasonable, kill him." To the guy behind <laughs> me, I can clearly hear. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Um, maybe not, not the best, but not a good rally. One, not a great, not a great rally. We're gonna. Yeah, he's 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 not feeling very inspired. He does get one thing off, and you did choose uh coward. So there you go. Yeah, I want no him. Afraid. 
to be able to do something in the next mm-hmm. turn um, if she's going to stay alive. Uh, and yeah, it seems like these negotiations are falling through. So I don't know what you're feeling, Griff, but... We're here to protect you, ma'am. He's already killed one of our friends. Yeah. Have I killed more than that? Also, you did in fact go ahead and attack one of their friends again, so I'm going to go ahead and trigger the reaction. Connor, you are getting... What does the gorilla do? I think he just punches you. He's going to take his saber. Yeah, here you go, Connor. Oh, you stupid idiots. You didn't disarm him. Uh, I don't have disarming strengths yet. No, no, I'm talking to them. Sorry, I'm not mocking you. Oh, yeah, they... They they tied you up. They can never disarm them. They didn't even get to tie you up yet. Yeah, we're still looking for rope. All right, so I was just going to go through my things. I don't have uh, any friends. I'm not aiming. I don't believe you have any conditions on you that give me bonuses, correct? Right. All right, rolling. Sixes. I have an eight. That's three damage. All right, well, this man is going to go ahead and roll 48. Aren't you guarding? Yes, that's what the veteran die is. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He takes no damage. However, he is now reeling, but he still holds on to you. He tries to snap your neck, and you just show him that you are not, in fact, uh, out yet. That's right. That's right. Honor. All right. You busted up, but still standing. This does leave everyone else, though, if we're going to go through them. People are re-entering the room and kind of surveying the situation now that they're not afraid. That's what all of them are doing. This guy guards. This isn't great for him. No. Uh, this cattle recovers from reeling and guards. Yeah, uh, I think they should just sit where they are. Right. Next turn, they might do something, but because they all had to sprint out there, they're just covering, taking their breath. Uh, it's also technically this guy's turn now. He recovers from reeling and then also guards. Okay. But then he just take his turn to attack me. He interrupted you. He had focus. No, he took his turn to attack me, and I countered him. He he had focus. Yeah, so yeah, that means he when Harmon chose to attack, he chose to try to murder you. Oh, okay. I think the confusion is, is that you did it at the end of my turn, so the the rollover. Right, it looked like it bled into yeah. your turn. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay, my bad. Uh, but that was what he had the focus for. So that's all he does. He just recovers. Okay, Harmon. All, All right. right. Do. Initiative's yours. All right, hold on. Let's see, what's my... What is my... non-running speed? <laughs> Dash of six. And your reach, I mean, you do it. Slow down, Harmon. Slow down. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. Just... Boom! All right, yeah, she's in range. Attacking her. Do it. Just barrel past him. Ah. I have no zone of control. Yeah, well. You're a big guy shoulder checking two guys on your way past, but I guess there is space. The token fit between them. That's why I'm over there and not, like, right next to her. (laughs) Uh, Rerolling that uh, one. Oh, right. I got a roll, too. Jeez. Um, Yeah, this is the lowest roll Harmon's made today. Damn it, the, the, the role that counts the most is the ones that I can't do. Uh, you do okay. have a rod, and you can parry. It is d8 and 2d12 with the rod. If you had a spell parry. readied, you could also counter with that, but I'm assuming you don't. No, she does not. So, d12 Dude. parry, Dude. still really... You got wow. me on the six. Still one, but wow. That is hilarious. <laughs> okay. Yeah, alright, your momentum carries you, uh, but she manages Aid to the blow um, with the metal rod. Oh my god! Uh, we're coming up on the end of the session here. This is very interesting. Very I'm tense. really trying to end the battle as fast as possible I because know. I don't think I'm going to be here next time so I have a surgery on a Tuesday. I'm trying oh, okay. to finish this. You're right. So let's try to finish it. Let's uh, keep would it going. you like to go ahead and have your NPC go first? I uh, I might also make a... Well, okay, yeah. Th- that's fine. I think they're that's fine. Okay. Um 
what is she going to do? Um, uh, I don't think there's anywhere that she could move that would get her Harmon's stabbing range. She's definitely going to guard as one of her actions. Um, she and I could think take as, a step back, and then I could try to surround her. Him. I, I think she's going to try to negotiate Harmon down. You can't. I mean, you could try to surround her. Can't? Oh, right, because you're confused. Can't negotiate. You've well. granted me the confusion state, which is the one defense I have against all of this. You that yourself have done this hilarious. to me. And you. Look, can't you negotiate the confused state of this off of somebody, though? I, I believe didn't, that's one of the ways to get rid of it. Didn't see it as an option. Okay. Because I read the whole thing. Guard. Um... That's possible, but also that wouldn't necessarily help her in this scenario. She's got one action to try to stop him from killing her. So she's going to guard, she's going to step back and hope that her her buddies are going to put up a, a defensive wall in front of her. Oh, um, she, she could rally it off of him and then try the uh, stunt. But then she wouldn't be guarding. I suppose. Yeah, we're going to do this instead. Then rallying someone on the opposite side needs eights or better. Oof. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm clearly um, Connor, so enraged I'm not hearing you out anyway. Yeah, yeah, I don't think they would go even narratively. Point out, Connor, that her back is exposed to you. She obviously does not consider you a threat, and you are still grappled, but... Um, also, yeah, afraid is the problem. Out. Afraid I'm is afraid the problem. So There's no ralliers in this room on our end. Yep. Uh, however, this cattle is going to charge you after aiming. Alright, uh, counter. Alright. So we got our 3d8, God. our d10, we got tactics, we got confusion, we got aim. Ah, uh, and they just and can't I, make I, it. I mean, I'm starting, my rolls are getting lower and lower for some reason. I think oh, that... Uh, yeah. This guy that, does technically have to get in, but he's fine. That quantum he's roll a... 20 roll thing is really starting to bring it in. The dice roller <laughs> is getting exhausted. Yeah, you take three damage. Uh, all right. Well, let's see if he reduces it. He's rolling forty-eight. His heart is marked, and you said three damage. Yeah. Reeling. He tried his best. Uh, this guy is going to go ahead and take a couple strides, and then he's going to go ahead and just kind of bumble around to this side of the table. It's like I got, I got Connor. Uh, mm -hmm. This guy. Focuses again. It's like, don't you move! Uh, these guys are stepping out. They get to here. Uh, and they will guard. Additionally, these guys as a group are going to go ahead and move up five. And then we'll see how far they get. Five, four, and eight. So five. Four plus one. And eight plus one. Uh, he just barrels through all of his friends. Oh, there we go. This guy is still blind. I'm blind. He bumps his head against the door. <laughs> and done. <clears throat> okay. All right. Well, my turn is going to be easy. Just uh, guard and move there. You're, okay. you're still I'm grappled. That's climber, so well, you can move around your you can move around, grappler, yeah. but you okay. can't move away from them. Gotcha. Just making sure. All right. I guard, and then I attack the guy over here who's reeling. Okay. Well, he can only dodge right now. Ooh. I reroll the one, and then I roll an eight because you're reeling. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. God that damn it. Could... No? Okay. Still. Uh but still it's one, two, three, uh, four, five, six. You use the toughness too. Yeah, so six damage. Uh where'd the six come from? Oh I see. Okay. I understand. Boop. So you're overkill. There you go. Doesn't soak any of it. Overkill. Overkilled. Alright, do a quick this guy. range check. I mean, she's in it. Yeah, okay. Uh, I mean, arguably, also the gorilla holding Connor. Well, it's four, isn't it? Four paces? That's six out here. 
Oh, yeah, dogs. four paces. 4.1 dark, the gorilla holding Connor. So I don't know what you're measuring. I'm I'm measuring from the center, center of the guy the, who just... Yeah, got. the cattle. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If it's, if it's the two nearest corners, you're taking off, like, several meters. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just looking at the measurement tool. Measurement tool says 4.1. It says 6.1 for me. That's 6. Look at the stream. Somebody, while I'm holding it, Griff, look at the stream. Whoever uh, the two viewers <laughs> I have are. I, I believe you. Um... Why is that so weird? That is weird. Yeah, that's just glitching. Because when you guys do it, I see the same measure that's on mine, 4.1. It must have just yeah. desynchronized the scale for some reason. Did you change um, the scale at some point during the game? No. I don't know. This is this is it, four it is meters six. here. Puts it right. I basically will refresh right my page right. then, because apparently it's on my end. Um, but that's fine. That does make her afraid as well. I mean, technically, I mean, not technically. Narratively, I'm sure she is already afraid in this. Yeah, scenario, no, on mine, it's still four point one. <laughs> I refreshed the page. That's weird. Uh, who knows? Well, we're running out of time, so let's just stick with it. Um, yep, yep. Yeah, because on hers, it's on two point eight for me. So. The fact is, she was about to rebuke you, but now she can't because she's afraid. So yep. that was that was good for you. Um, are you sweeping the attack? Oh, or yeah, was that yeah. a counter attack? No, that was an attack, so I'm sweeping to the next one. Gotcha. Okay, gorilla time. So again, we're looking at a lot of the same stuff, especially because they're guarding. They still have friends threatening you. Uh, they right, doesn't matter. still have confusion, they Ta have tactics, they have guard. No, you don't get tactics they, on a counter. They have counter tactics? Oh, well, remove one of those, they oh. don't roll high enough anymore. Doesn't matter if they have counter tactics, I'm not using tactics, so. Hmm. Counter right, tactics right. only so plus that five. Would be one... Right. Still, best they have is ten to screen out. Uh, they have pack tactics, though? No. No. Oh, because you said you have... I'm oh, sorry, I'm trying to parse everything you just said since some of it was wrong. Their body rolled a 10 and we simultaneously hit. Okay. Uh, this is his punch. So he has done 1, 2 points of damage, 3, 4 because you are hurt and injured. Alright, that uh, only just sends me reeling then. Alright, how much does he take? Uh, and reeling is purple, right? <laughs> Alright, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, three damage. You take three, three damage. Alright, he takes one damage. He is reeling and afraid. Well, no, hurt, hurt. He's all afraid because of the other kill. Yep, yep. Alright, so he's not looking great. I meant that to be red. Blech. Pink blood. Cool. You know what else it's is okay? You You know what else is weird about mine? Apparently, when I click red, purple comes out, or pink, or whatever <laughs> color is showing. What's happened to your old twenty today? I don't know what color <laughs> you guys are seeing, but no, it's it's purple for us too. Okay, but I believe that ends your turn. Yeah, that's me. I'm done. Okay. Um. All right. Well, boss, we uh, got this. We swear. You're not afraid. Just leave that as an oh, did you, uh, did you mystery. Rally? You rallied. Okay, she's yes. not afraid. In that case, she's no longer guarding. She is readying a spell. She is going to try to rebuke to, Harmon. To end this. Rebuke? She and he's reeling. Rebuke? Rebuke? Yeah. She did everything that she could to Rebook. control the situation. I'm reeling, but I'm also guarding. Harmon needs to be put down. Oh, you're you're going to get the 12, too. Yep. I just know it. Oh, we'll find out. Um, here we go. Uh, you gotta remind me what the counter is. Not the counter, the uh, defense. Yep. Is this the mind economics start. one? It is I think mind, it's will, and presence. Oh, mind, mind will, will, and presence. First three, and hers is 2d8, d10. First three. Wow. That was one. And mine's two. Especially because I'm guarding. There you go. So, no damage goes through. She's stammering now. She says, like, just leave. Just take your men and go. Take Rodolfo. I I do not know what has become of him. Go! 
Uh, and you, I don't know. It's up to the thugs. You leave the battlefield. This is their house. <laughs> this is my <laughs> house now. <laughs> All right. Well, one one way or another, I don't think we're gonna have time to get through combat here. Um, yeah, narrate. Do you guys mind if I do some some narration based on how this played out so that we can maybe get some experience for next session and we don't have to have this spill over, especially since some of us won't be able to be here? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to do this really quickly. Um, Amelia will drop uh, to her hands and, and say, uh, we surrender, we surrender. And although maybe not all of the thugs are on for this when they see her they put their you know fall down they put their hands up as well they'll release connor um and it is on uh you Harmon, basically decide if, if this ends here um if you're gonna take your pound of flesh or not um oh, but, said if they leave the building i'm good oh okay if you said okay then if that's your conditions um she'll nod she's going to tell all of her men to leave the building and they're going to go out the front door never taking their eyes off of off of you and the bloody mess that has become there if they're in um now while all of this was going down i'm going to do a little bit of hand waving here outside the gorilla caught up to rodolfo who blinded him as well thought that he made a clean break stumbled out of the garden gates to find the uh collection of connor's men um and anushka waiting for him at sword point at this point he is beyond he's he was injured um and beyond any ability to put up a resistance or get away you, you caught him completely unguarded um and he surrenders himself into your custody with a sneer the uh conscious members of connor's um band will help anushka tie him up so at the very least rodolfo has been captured after this quite bloody mess um, and I am going to say, for the sake of argument, you guys put up a brutal fight. Um, MVP goes to Griffin, who had so many freaking roles. Griff, I honestly did not as expect this to be a four-hour combat, but like, uh, it's it's what happens when there's a large number of things out on the field. We just played out an entire war game. Exactly. People, and as I keep repeating. Every time you raise the baseline, everything gets deadlier and longer. It does, it does. I uh, believe in total there's like three fatalities, though. Uh, yeah. Pretty brutal. Nobody really has the will to fight anymore. The only people who aren't injured is the guy who's blind, this guy over here who, uh, well, has rope now, and everyone's gone, and the leader themselves who doesn't want anyone else getting hurt i know one guy who has the uh, little fight yeah we never lost it <laughs> well uh, it was never backed down and um even though most sane people might consider the fight lost at a certain point armin kept it going and came out victorious so in that way i'd say he probably lived up to his motto um i don't know if this is the end of rudolfo maybe talk about it or next session decide how you guys want to do want to turn if you just want to kill him also an option but for right now let's say that the goal of uh dealing with rodolfo is completed so at least you guys get your gift um in this case i think uh Huzzah. oh man um i'm not gonna mark down an intrigue quota yeah you know what i'm gonna catch up with you guys and what gift for that as I didn't have one prepared. That one's on me. That's but I'll totally let you guys okay. Know. He had plenty of chances to maybe make something happen, but it just didn't work. I'm yeah. also assuming the gorilla that's out there with him is also like, this is too much for me. Yeah, he's, he's, he's blind. He's, he's bumping around. No, the, the one that went out after Rodolfo was injured, so he, he's done with this. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do that last dying roll for my NBC. Hmm. There we go. He's still alive. Still alive. You didn't even lose any of your irregulars. Although I think we're going to have to roll for them next session because they went through some stuff today. Yeah, they've been injured. Yeah, some of them might not come around. back. Yeah. <laughs> hey, lady, you didn't say anything about this. So, yeah. All right. Um, 
And I'm also going to say that's the end of the chapter. So take your long, your hard earned chapter experience points um, plus XP for uh, the recap, which we don't really have a lot of time for. Um, but for playing mottos, I think everyone did the best they could, considering it was literally combat. Uh, today yeah. I played the thugs. Their motto is that he can't kill us all. <laughs> <laughs> he seems too eager to try, though. Yep, yep. Excellent. You know, okay. that's funny. That pushes me to 10 XP, and clearly the gift I need is Frenzy. Yeah. Ooh, gosh. Ooh. Some of these guys have Frenzy. They just didn't really have a good opportunity for I it. I mean, on my want list of things to eventually buy is the Rage Within. So just keep that in mind. These tricks aren't going to work on me forever. <laughs> right, right. I'll say one one parting word. I included um, Rodolfo the Cognoscenti storyline because one of the things is the uh, the doctor being anonymous gets resistance to a lot of these sort of magical yep. attacks. And the way that worked out was none of his attacks basically hit anybody. And for the big final fight, the doctor wasn't even involved. So. Just to show you. Sometimes these things just don't work out the way you think they're gonna. Um. Anyway, though, I, I think that's it. We're out of time for today. So thank you guys for playing. I know it was kind of an endurance run, but I look forward to uh, playing more next week. It's all good. I think running. you did great. Yeah, thanks for running. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I, uh, was, oh also, before we end, I apologize for my exuberance halfway through. <laughs> no, man, it's I'm I'm impressed with everybody. Thank you for sticking with it again. Try not to make them four hour combats. I think I went a little crazy. I kind of thought that it was going to turn into a chase scene and it just didn't really go that way. Again, it was totally something I could have foreseen. Read mm -hmm. it wrong, but just imagine are. how the session could have gone had he died in the first shot. And it came very, very freaking close to it just went down. Um, one more point of damage. Uh, if I hadn't gone after him, but I figured I should. I think there's just one end point that probably matters the most to Anushka, and that is she's not getting her gun back. Um, mm -hmm. my, my my warning to Volk is, though, I mean, I know we gotta get ready for the next thing. My warning is always is like, anytime you you you, uh, I I always say my advice is always low ball because yep. when you yep. raise the difficulty, when you add anything when you turn typicals into elites or you start doing custom sheets you have made the fight longer mm -hmm. and uh, that's always a surprise i always hear i used to hear this in like D D, where people where gms would say i don't know why that fight took two hours by the way i read the book and i thought the bad guys didn't look very dangerous so i raised so i tweaked mm -hmm. them and yeah. suddenly the fight took three times as long and they had no no idea how this happened oh uh, but, real quick also before we go sorry not to interrupt mm -hmm. So I know we're trying to rush out of here. Uh, how much is an Oriel? 24 denarii. Okay, a pistol is 30 denarii, so I'm just going to give Anushka an Oriel and uh, 6 uh, denarii. What are you, what, we won the day. Don't I get my stuff back? Uh, bear somebody... left without the... <laughs> yeah, the gun that had a bullet in it that I dropped to draw my sword, a bear ran off with. So this is me giving okay. you the money equivalent of a pistol so that you can get another pistol. I'm replacing it by giving you the money to replace it. I, I, suppose, I, I suppose I can accept that. Uh, as long as we didn't lose Gaston's rapier, because that has uh, sentimental value. Uh, no, everything else is still... That was the yeah. only thing lost. Right. So, uh, last minute shoutouts as well. You guys got anything you want to shout out real quick? Uh, you can find me... Uh, I do professional GMing, and if you like this session and you like to uh, book me for your game group i know iron claw but i also play fifth edition and you can find me at startplaying.games slash gm slash oracular pig all right raf any shout outs uh we're still working on the iron claw stuff folks it, it'll be out soon all right well, once again, thanks everyone for being here. Thanks for running, and we'll catch you all next time. Take care, guys. See ya.